coming up from the Northeast Live Studios in Guwahati. Northeast tonight with Wasbi Rusan. Welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. Actually, they let me begin by thanking my viewers today who have been wishing us throughout the day on our third anniversary. Viewers, Notice Live, your channel has completed three years today and we would like to thank you for sending your good wishes to us all throughout the day today. Uh, now, we would like to begin. Meghalaya BJP President, Meghalaya BJP President Ernest Mori is an angry man. He told journalists recently that his party, the BJP, may be a part of the MDA coalition in the state, but being in the coalition, he said, did not mean members would remain silent on issues they need to speak out. Therefore, Mori, the state BJP chief, has decided to continue his tirade against what he says continuing illegal coal mining in Meghalaya and alleged large-scale corruption in Garo and Gentia Hills District Councils. Mr. Mori has gone to the extent of demanding the resignation of State Home Minister Lakman Rumbui over the January 21 coal mine mishap in East Gentia Hills that killed six laborers, which was also an indication of things happening on the ground. Now, Mr. Mori's party colleague, Health Minister A.L. Heck, on his part, came out openly in defense of the Home Minister, saying he cannot be held responsible for the mine accident. Two issues arise out of these developments. First, Mr. Mori's commands highlights the fact that there are serious differences within the MDA coalition and also raises the question whether there is also serious differences within the Meghalaya BJP, with Maori and Heck having two different approaches on the issue. The big question, of course, is whether these differences are impacting adversely on governance in Meghalaya. To discuss the subject, I am joined from Shillong by Meghalaya BJP Vice President, Mr. Dipayan Chakraborty, from New Delhi, I am joined by Meghalaya NPP President and Rajya Sabha MP Dr. W. R. Karluki. UDP General Secretary Dr. Jemaino Mauto is also with me from Shillong. And also in Shillong, I have Congress Leader Amparin Lingdo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Notice tonight. Let me go first to you, Mr. Dipayan Chakraborty, Meghalaya BJP Leader. Mr. Dipayan Chakraborty, uh, there are two things that are emerging. Your party president, Mr. Ernest Mori, has been leveling serious charges uh, against the state, against the government, which it, he has accused of failing to stop illegal coal mining. Your president went to the extent of demanding the resignation of the state home minister, Mr. Rimbui. The question arises, uh, you know, whether the coalition, MDA coalition, is not as smooth as it seems to be because you are a coalition partner. Uh, that is my first question. Point number two, uh, whether your party minister, party MLA and minister, Mr. Heck, oh, immediately coming out in defense of the home minister, does it indicate that within the BJP too, there are some problems? What, how would you respond? Mr. Vazbir, my state president and my party has adopted a resolution against the corruption. We have adopted a resolution in month of November. The state office bearer, which is the highest body of the party, that we will not tolerate corruption. We are in the mood of zero tolerance in corruption. So any issue comes about corruption, we will be always against that issue. Coming back 
to the present scenario, the present government, the, our party has never blamed the NPP had done this corruption in district council. I do not understand that intelligent people in this government, how do they say that we are accusing them? We have never accused them. We have only asked a CBI inquiry based on the RTI information that there is a corruption in the district council in Gentia Hills and Garo Hills district council. So, I don't see there is anything wrong. If the CBI or some inquiry is had, then maybe it will lead to the previous councils. But you are also, you are also, as far as the so coal, the as for Mr. Chakrabarti, Dupayan Chakrabarti, as far as the coal mining incident is concerned, uh, your party president has demanded a resignation of the Home Minister. Naturally, sir, why not my president will ask for a resignation? The government was saying that there is no illegal mining and illegal transportation. They wanted proof. They said, you come with a hard proof, hard fact, then only we will agree with it. When, you know, people in this state, people in the city of Shillong, people around Khasi Jandia Hills are seeing loaded trucks are carrying thing. So, the first question I would like to ask, rather, that how did the six people die inside the coal mine? if there is no mining in the state. The, the NGT has banned the coal mining. Okay. Then how it is that six people have died inside the mine and it is the moral responsibility of the Home Minister to take responsibility and step down. That was my Later, President's uh, uh, I'm, appeal and I'm, request. Right. Uh, I will request our producers at some point in this program, we'd like to make our viewers once again hear as to what Mr. Ernest Maury has said in the last few days on this issue. We'll bring that to you if possible. Now, let me go to New Delhi, uh, where I have Dr. W.R. Karluki, the state NPP president. Uh, now, Dr. Karluki, you have heard the Meghalaya BJP vice president saying that why shouldn't he demand or his party president demand resignation of the home minister because your government was saying there was no illegal mining and the death of these six laborers proved that there was illegal mining going on. That is his argument. That is the argument of the BJP leader. What is your response? Well, Mr. Warby, Vashbir, first I'd like to congratulate you on your third anniversary. Well done as a channel in the Northeast. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Number it means two, a lot. Number two, I'd like to welcome my friend Dipayan Chakravarti. I knew him. It was Dipayan Chakravarti, the person who I may say that what the BJP is today. And at least now they have realized his usefulness. Uh, number three, well, I'll just correct Mr. Dipayan Chakravarti that his president says that the NPP led government in the district council. He did mention it even in the channel here with regards to the corruption in the district council. And well, I think I don't need to answer that because their own general secretary in charge, he have already told the president of the BJP when it came out in the press that when you make a charge, at least you should substantiate it. Number four, when it comes to coal mining, the government never said that there's no illegal coal mining. They said that when this happened, they said, yes, it is an illegal mining. They're going to investigate and action will be taken against such person concerned. Point number five, coal laden, a truck laden with coal going through the highway. I told earlier last time also that the coal went with duly documented chalan, not that they are transporting the coal illegally. Illegal coal mining, yes. And I did say like last time also, I said, yes, there is a law that there, there is a law against crime, but still crime do happen. And it doesn't mean that crime happened, that home minister will, which should resign at any crime, at every crime. Okay. Okay. 
now let me let let me go to you, Dr. Jemaino Mauto, uh, UDP leader. Uh, Dr. Mauto, uh, you know, first of all, uh, what does it mean? BJP is a part of your coalition. You are also a part of the coalition government. Now, the BJP president is saying staying in the coalition does not mean that we have to keep quiet. Mr. Mauto, if you can hear me. Yes, you are also part of the coalition. BJP leader, Mr. Ernest Maury, has said that staying in the coalition or being a part of the coalition does not mean that he has to keep quiet or his party has to keep quiet. Now, the question is, the question is, uh, why is the BJP not discussing these issues within the MDA? A lot of people are asking this question. Mr. Mauto. Mr. Mauto, if you can hear me, can you hear me first of all? Okay, now uh, I have got an audio problem as usual with uh, Dr. Jamaino Mauto of uh, in Shillong. Uh, I will, I will, I will, I will come back to you. But the question is, Dupan Chakrabarti, uh, you know, from a long time the BJP has been raising these issues. You have every right to raise these issues. Nobody can deny that. But there was an MDA meeting chaired by the Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, where there was a decision that all these issues will be taken within the MDA forum. Now, are you not getting a positive response from the state government that you are making these issues public? Vasveer, it's a very nice question you have asked. I really thank you. I would like to say this, that where do we go to say that there is rampant corruption in the state? Our big brother here in the state, they are not even in, have the courtesy to call us and discuss the issue. Our state president have personally met the Honorable Chief Minister on 9th July and have a detailed discussion regarding the Garo Hills District Council, Jantia Hills District Council, coal mining, and other issues. But the Honorable Chief Minister had agreed that he will be looking after it, but there was no res positive response from them. Okay, I'll, I'll come this back to you. Money I'll come which back. is being looted, it is... Right. The, the, the Dupan Chakrabarti there saying that, the BJP leader saying that there was no positive response from the government. Uh, that is the point. Now, I'm coming to you, Dr. Jamaino Mauto. My question is, uh, BJP is a part of the coalition government. Your party, the UDP, is also a part of the coalition government. Now, d what do you expect? Do you expect pa coalition partners to talk in the media or do you expect things to be sorted out? What is the problem? Is there a problem of communication. What is your personal view? Uh, Waspir, I really don't understand why the BGP, which is a coalition partner in the MDA government at present, why are they going hammer and tongs at the present MDA government? See, I would like to, I would like to say this, as far as the political culture in the state of Meghalaya is concerned, right from the inception of the state of Meghalaya, we've never really had, you know, a political party who will get the majority and who will rule the state. So in successive governments, we have experienced, you know, a coalition government comprising of different political parties coming together. Now, this is uh, very unique as far as the state of Meghalaya is concerned. But when the people has given their mandate, so when we have to form the government, so we're trying to bring everybody on board and thinking that since the BGP is also at the helm of affairs at the center, so we thought that it'll be a good idea to also, uh, you know, rope in BGP in the government. So by working together, we can put more emphasis on the progress and development of the state. The UDP, right from the beginning, has always put emphasis 
that unity and stability is foremost if we have to take the state forward. Now, in this uh, coalition era, I think the coalition partners need to have that respect, that mutual respect has to be there for each other. I'm not saying that we are tol tolerating corruption. No political party, be it a national party or regional party, will tolerate corruption. But the way that the BGP has been raising the issue time and again, that too going on public, without right. uh, now, understanding now, Dr. how Dr. the coalition Mato, has been working, right. this Do is very, very unfortunate. Dr. Mato, because uh, the government is trying to government is trying to address the issues, the allegations raised by the BGP. Now, Dr. Dr. Mato, you know, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, Dr. Karluki on a different discussion on almost the same topic, he had said that if, if the BJP is having so much of problems with this government, they are free to walk out of the coalition. Now, recently, journalists had also asked Mr. Maori this question. I'm quoting media reports uh, that, uh, are you walking out of the coalition? Then he said, if necessary, we'll do so. We'll consider it at an appropriate time. Now, what is your advice? Do you think that the BJP, if they are no. so unhappy, should walk no. out? No, no, I think they should be firm on their stand also. If they think, if they think and if their allegations, whatever they have tried to uh, allege, what the present government is doing, they should uh, walk out gracefully. They should walk out gracefully. I, I think they should do what uh, Mr. T.H. Rangat, you know, once upon a time, T.H. Rangat was the Home Minister. Uh, that was in the year, I think, 2001, 2002. He was from the BGP. And at that particular point of time, when this was, when there was this issue of, uh, you know, of, of the Maglia government at that particular point of time, uh, signing uh, a, uh, an agreement with the uh, Asian Housing uh, Corporation Limited, there was a hue and cry in the state of Meghalaya. And the Home Minister at that particular point of time, who was also the B uh, BGP man, he stepped down from the government. So if the BGP at this point of time also feels that they're uncomfortable to be in this present MDA government, I think they are free to, they, they're free to go. Okay, that but is... No, what, 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 no, what I would like to say is, what I would like to say here is this. I see that there's a lot of misunderstanding or this internal conflict going on in the BGP party because the president is saying something else and, these, and the two elected members who are in the government are saying something else. Do, they okay. are not going okay. in line with the, what the president of the BGP is saying. All right. All right. Uh, we'll bring to the viewers the response by Mr. A.L. Heck also. We'll try that and also play when, when Mr. Ernest Morris said that Home Minister should resign on the coal mining mishap. Uh, Mr. A.L. Heck said in response that why should the Home Minister be responsible? Now, now the question is, let, I'm coming to you, Dr. Karluki, uh, but before that, let's uh, uh, play what Ernest Mori had said regarding the resignation. Just to refer, and I'm coming to you, uh, Mr. Dupayan Chakrabarti, for your response to what uh, Dr. Mato has said. Uh, let's listen in first to Mr. Ernest Mori's comments. My statement demand on the decision of the Home Minister, it is not my decision, it is the party decision. Party decision means we have a meeting with the state office bearer and in our party, the highest body it is the state office bearer, which we have only passed the resolution against zero tolerance in corruption. So we are following up with that. And the statement of the CM, he says that only few people, it's not few people, ask the state president and taking the responsibility for the state, for the party. It's not in, individual. And I think it's very wrong to say that. Uh, I cannot comment anything, maybe for his uh, personal gain or whatever to say. But from the party, we are very clear, we stand with the party decision. From the day one, we are fighting against corruption. So till today also, we stand with the okay. anybody involved, whoever. 
Okay, that that is uh, the BJP state president, uh, Mr. Ernest Maury, saying that uh, his decision to demand a resignation of the Home Minister was not his individual decision. It is the decision of the party. Let's look at, let's listen in to what party MLA and the Minister for Health in the Conrad Sangma government, Mr. A.L. Heck, who is a senior BJP leader as well, had to say to this demand by his party president. You cannot tell that that is what is the happening in the mining area. You cannot squarely blame the home minister. What the home minister has the res the responsibility there till hmm. only after we came to know someone died there. That's why only there's a duty of home minister to ensure to make the inquiry inquiry on that particular issue. Hmm. He will do his duty to the bottom of the issues. He will take it up. That we have no. No doubt on the responsibility and the capability of our uh, honorable home minister. Okay. Mr. Lakhman. All right. No All right. Uh, I, uh, give me a minute, uh, Dr. Karluki. Let me quickly take a response to this from Mr. Dupan Chakrabarti, uh, Meghala BJP vice president. Mr. Dupan Chakrabarti, two of your top leaders, the president, Arnas Mori Singh, demands resignation. He has to take responsibility of the home minister. And Mr. A.L. Heck saying that you cannot blame the Home Minister alone responsible for the mining tragedy. Now, a lot of people will interpret this as saying that there is a lot of problems going on within the BJP itself in Meghalaya. See, was where BJP is a democratic party. Everyone has a right to talk. Everyone has a, oh, their own views. But once the party will take a stand, everyone comes under the party's directions. So I am telling you and assuring you, whatever the party will in a long term take a decision, everyone will abide by it. All right. Everyone will abide by it. Uh, Dr. Karluki, uh, you know, you had said that the BJP, if they are unhappy, can walk out. You had said this a few weeks ago. Today, your coalition partner, UDP leader, uh, Mr. Dr. Jemaino Mautha has also said the same thing that if they are so unhappy with the MDA government, they can walk out, but walk out gracefully. Uh, what do you have to say? And you have heard uh, Mr. Dupan Chakrabarti of the BJP saying that BJP is a democratic party. Everybody has a right to express his or her own views. Well, Mr. Wasbir. Listening to what the BJP president is saying and listening to Bahek, what Bahek says, I will I will say like this that well it seems that what the BJP president should do is he should at least try to see that his house is in order. I do agree with what Jamino has said. There is something wrong in the BJP. Well, I appreciate what Mr. Dipian Chakravarti was saying, that the BJP is a democratic party because everybody, everybody had uh, their own opinion. But this is not only now, this is a long time back. If you remember when the president did say that the, uh, there is corruption in the district council and he was making certain demand, both the MLAs, they were against his idea or his opinion. Same thing. Had it been me, Mr. Vasbir, I'm a president of my party. And as a president of a party, yes, democracy is there. But democracy should be within the party. Democracy never spilled out outside the party. So had it been me, I would have gracefully stepped down as president of, but, the pa of my but, party. But... But, Dr. Karluki, what is the harm? Why is your party government, your party-led government, if I may use the word, why is, why is the MDA coalition unwilling to order a CBI inquiry or any other inquiry into the allegations of corruption within the district councils, Garo Hills and Gentia Hills district councils? Uh, what is the problem? Why are you not ordering an independent inquiry? You see... I think I think the chief minister have already answered this. There was a he did set up a committee to inquire into this. It is already there. Long time back, it is already there. Kindly check. 
So, Dupan Chakraborty, uh, Mr. Karluki is a responsible political leader. He is saying the chief minister has already ordered an inquiry. And is it only a rhetoric that your party is doing? Uh, or uh, what, what is your response uh, to what Dr. Karluki is saying? No, 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 no. Mr. Karluki is a very respected man. I respect him personally. I have nothing against him. But thing is this, that he has, or his party has to have that mutual respect, number one. We, if he considers us as a coalition partner, and we are not mere coalition worshipper, we are NDA partners. They are also young brother in Delhi. We, they are part of the NEDA. Yes. So they should have a respect while giving a statement in the to the media or other places. Number two is, Honorable Chief Minister has just to given a eye wash by giving it to the local audit. There is rampant corruption, Vaspir. In district council, there is rampant corruption. Imagine you are a media fraternity. Ten minutes a documentary film cost it more than six crores. And that also, that was not completed. And it is not the Bharatiya Janata Party is saying, it is really found out through the RTIs. And if our honorable MP and respected Kharluki say that these are all lies, then there is something real defect in that government or the district council who has given us a wrong report. That they should inquire. But so, I think that we have going in the right track and therefore we will continue our fight against corruption. Okay, but, uh, but, but yes, yes. Could Dr. I respond, could I respond, Mr. Varsbir? Yes, 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 please do. I please would like do. to ask Mr. Dipian Chakarwati what he would say about their in charge telling their president that he should substantiate his proof. You mean your in charge is lying? Substantiate proof. Substantiate yes, proof. But in charge, it came out in the paper. They're in charge. He said, whenever you make a charge against a government corruption and all this, you should substantiate your proof. It came out in the paper. Okay. Uh, Dupan Chakraborty, Dupan Chakraborty, you are saying, you are saying that you are you are saying, Dupan Chakraborty, that the state government did not respond even after the MDA had held a meeting promised to discuss everything and set everything in order, you are claiming that the state government has not, res not res showing proper response to your charges. Now my question is, do you think a situation has come for you to walk out of the coalition? Both Mr. Karluki, both Dr. Karluki and Mr. Jam Dr. Jamaino Mauto is saying that if the BJP is so unhappy, they can walk out gracefully from the MDA coalition. Yes, was weird. I have heard it. Uh, Jamino also is a very respected man for me. But he has said that BJP should walk out gracefully. BJP is the today the biggest party in this country. We are not having only six M MLAs or seven MLAs. BJP is a responsible party. We have entered this coalition with and we understand what is a coalition dharma. Atal Bihari Bajpayee and our respected Narendra Modi ji have shown how we respect the coalitions. Time will only say that when we will walk out, time will only lead us when we should we leave the coalition. Okay, time will tell us when you have to leave the coalition on that note, I'll go for a short break. When I come back, I'll go to Dr. Jamaina Mauto and Dr. Karluki. And of course, uh, Mr. Dupan Chakrabarti is with us. Don't go away. I'll be right back.
welcome back dr dr mato dr jamaina mato a uh, lot of people will say already people are saying that an internal audit is not enough the allegations are serious the allegations are not made by the opposition party allegation is made made by coalition partner so is do you think your government is taking the allegation seriously lot of people don't think so lot of people are saying that an internal audit is not enough an independent inquiry has to be instituted why is the government or why cannot the government institute an independent inquiry that is the question i'm asking you see mr waspier when the bjp came out with this issue of corruption we from the party also had issued statement that any any form of illegality or corruption that takes place in the state of meghalaya we will also you know support the allegation okay but then when the when the mda government had initiated this internal audit we said okay let us wait for the report let us see what the findings are this is the first step and if we are not satisfied with that let it go to the next level and i would like to mention here that uh, you know the statements made by the udp ministers also in the mda government the one of the minister of the udp in the mda government had said that he is open for any type any kind of inquiry be it cbi be it anything we are open for any uh, inquiry if there are any serious allegations we are open for that inquiry okay uh, open for that inquiry uh, but dr 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 kharluki dr kharluki uh, don't you think that uh, this sit present situation prevailing in meghalaya do you think that is adversely affecting governance in the state uh, do you think it is affecting governance in the state well i don't think it affect governance like what for example this is mr maori demands while both the mlas they are with the government we have no problem the problem is only mr maori and i don't know what is his problem because the thing is like you see right from the very beginning when he charged the mda government he said that they have written to the central leader the outcome was that they sent their thing they sent their in charge and the in charge of the state of meghalaya like i told you he was telling them that when you give charge when you charge the mda or anybody you should substantiate then they went to delhi and i really feel pity for them they could not meet amit shah in spite of the hype that as if the central leader were in their pocket so i think they should retrospect the, the president should retrospect because like i said earlier I am a president and my MLA doesn't listen to me I would put in my papers Karluki they are very strong words Karluki Dr Karluki is the state president of the NPP he is just saying to prove a point he is saying that if my MLA do not listen to me I am not going to stay I'm going to put in my papers uh how do you respond uh, mr dopan chakrabarty uh nobody can deny that if you are the party president you are pursuing a certain line if your mlas or mps do not listen to you uh what would be your response that is the question dr kharluki is raising i have already answered to this question i believe was where yes that bjp there may be many views it is not a one man party it is people have different views but once the party will take a decision any decision now today the party has taken a decision that we are going for zero tolerance in corruption so the party is for fighting against any type of corruption whoever comes into it we will not bother about it so we will not bother about it and coming back one minute sir and one thing is that mr uh, dr kharluk is asking for bjp is it is an internal matter of bjp he should if he likes to resign it is up to him we are not demanding dr kharluk's resignation from npp i think the npp has also not right though they are alliance in the nda we will not uh, like to see who should be the president of N, uh, npp 
So oh, no, that is no, no, that is face. that you was just trying to. No, uh, I yes. think. Mr. 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 Dupan Chakraborty, uh, Dr. Karlik, you was trying to make a point, but that's, let's not go into that. But the question is, but the question is, what you have said today that party decision, everybody has to abide by it. So, are you indirectly saying that your two party MLAs uh, in the state assembly, do you think Mr. Heck uh, included, uh, has to abide by the party decision? That means, do you think uh, if 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 you decide to walk out of the MDA coalition, Mr. Heck and the MLA will also have to walk out? Dupan, I think we have lost Dupan's line there. Okay, Mr. Dupan, my question is, you are saying that the party's decision is final, everybody has to abide by it. Now my question is, if your party tomorrow decides to walk out of the MDA coalition, Mr. Heck, everybody including Mr. Heck has to walk out, isn't it? That's what you are saying. Yes, Mr. Heck or Heck, Bahek, El Heck and Bashan Bar will abide by it. I am telling you. Okay, what okay. We I'll... have taken a resolution on zero. That is the big uh, statement by the BJP Vice President in Meghalaya, Dupan Chakrabarti, that BJP has taken a decision and Mr. El Heck and Mr. Sunbar will have to abide by it. That is the thing. Yes, yes I'm coming to... Mr. Be, Beer, could I respond? Yes, respond. I'll, I'm also being joined by Ms. Ampar in Lingdo, Congress leader. But yes, Ms. Dr. Karluki, please speak. Dr. Karluki. Well, it, re it really amused me, which means the president, every demand he makes, he doesn't take the party along. And at the same time, Mr. Dupian was saying that once the party made a decision, Everybody will abide by that decision, which means this demand of every demand made by president, he make it on his own because his MLA, his MLA goes the other way around, which means there is no decision in the party. So when will they make a decision uh, as a party? I am joined live on the phone line from Shillong by Ms. Amparin Lingdo, Congress leader. Ms. Amparin Lingdo, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Ms. Amparin Lingdo, uh, I was asking this question to Dr. Karluki uh, whether this kind of going happenings within the coalition is going to affect governance. Dr. Karluki says it will not affect governance because it is only the BJP president which, who is making these demands of resignation of the Home Minister and so on. But his two MLAs, including Health Minister Mr. Heck, is saying something completely different. So he says that Dr. Karluki thinks it will not impact governance. Uh, what is your view? It's a very interesting situation that we see happening right before us. Uh, it's very unusual to see that uh, a party line of thinking and uh, the members of the same party having this conflict. So uh, I remember just a few months ago, uh, they were saying that uh, the Congress party is in complete disarray in the state of Meghalaya because there were these conflicting uh, arguments that were going between party members, between MLAs. But now I can see that it's happening even in the BJP. So it's a very interesting uh, observation that I have to make at this point. But it is very unlikely that uh, the party high command in the state can have a completely different view from legislators who have won uh, elections from that party ticket. So uh, definitely, in my view of things, there's going to be a complete conflicting uh, view of this even in their government. But I really don't know. Maybe the leading party, the NPP, has it all fixed up. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how things unfold in the immediate future. Okay, uh, Ms. Samprin Lingdo, please stay on for some more time. Don't go away. Uh, Dr. Doctor Mautho, uh, what is your advice? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, the, uh, Mr. Dupan Chakrabarti will elaborate more on that if he wishes to. But we are hearing that Mr. Ernest Maury and a few colleagues will be going to New Delhi to meet party leaders. Of course, they have a scheduled meeting as well. But that is beside the point. But Dr. Uh, Mato, uh, 
Uh, do you think there is, it's urgently become necessary for the MDA to put its coalition uh, partners in order? Do you think uh, that is important? Because yes, it may not be affecting governance because Mr. Heck and Mr. Sanbor uh, are with the government or are, are, are following the government line and not necessarily uh, in sync with what the party president is saying. At least that is what superficially emerges from the statements that we are seeing in the public domain. But what is your personal opinion? Do you think the MDA should go for an urgent confabulations? Uh, the G Chief Minister, uh, uh, Sri Conrad Sangma, earlier he had said that, uh, you know, there's a need to discuss these common concerns and common issues in the coordination committee. So I feel that these coalition partners also should respect, you know, the uh, decision taken on the part of the uh, MDA government. I would agree to a certain extent with uh, Dipayan when he said that everyone is free to give his or her opinion. But we also have to understand, right, if, if, we, if we say that the party is over and above any individuals, we would also like to see that the party comes out with a decision which is unanimous. Because these serious allegations is being made by one person, by one man. Whereas there is conflicting, you know, conflicting uh, remarks given by the BGP leaders. So this is something which is very, very serious. But what I would like to say here is that as far as the MDA government is concerned, there's so many parties in the MDA, about six political parties that there, plus independents. And for the, for the last three years, the MDA partners have been working together collectively in a, in, 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 in a, you know, in a manner which is uh, very well coordinated. But this time, this serious allegation has come only from one party, and that is from the BGP. And the MDA has never told them to move out from the government. Now, it is up to them if they feel that these uh, allegations are serious, then it's up to them to take a decision. See, if they say that they have to wait for an appropriate time, I think this is not correct for a party. If they have made a very strong stand, they should not wait for that appropriate time. Should they wait before the elections? I don't think so. That kind of a statement should come so, so, from a leader okay. of the BGP. Ms. Amparin Lingdo, Ms. Amparin Lingdo, Ms. Amparin Lingdo, yes. can you hear me? Ms. Amparin yes, Lingdo, I can hear you. Okay. Ms. Amparin yes, Lingdo, you. you know, uh, Dr. Mauto. Do, Mr. Dr. Karluki, they're saying that BJ, uh, BJP is free to walk out. Dr. Mauto said a short while ago that BJP, if they're so unhappy, they should walk out gracefully. And then, then Mr. Dupan Chakrabarti of the BJP said, oh, you don't have to tell us. We will walk out if necessary at an appropriate time. Now, Mr. Mauto is saying that you cannot indefinitely wait if, uh, for an appropriate time. If you're making a serious charge, uh, you have to take a decision quickly. Now, what do you make of all this? Do you think that, uh, you know, uh, the, the MDA has, uh, you know, there is a, uh, some kind of a coordination problem within the MDA? Is that the sense you are getting? Uh, because the BJP is mm -hmm. making these allegations and not going out, but... It is always uh, in the practice in all parliamentary, uh, you know, engagements, especially in coalition partners, where the leading coalition party and partner of a government should actually boot out anyone that they don't feel is in line with their own policy. So I don't understand where this entire waiting for an appropriate time or this entire debate of actually saying that uh, if they so wish, they should so just quit. I don't know what kind of a governance that is. I don't know where the pulls and the pushes are. Now, my question to you on this forum was be it, is, is the BJP in line with the ILP demand for the state of government, keeping in mind that the two MLAs of the BJP government are also co-signatories of the resolution brought by the government and sent to Delhi uh, 12 or 13 months back. So these are the conflicting situations which to me sound like a big uh, mockery of democracy. I, I have never seen this kind of a situation before 
where a main uh, coalition partner who's the but, only link with but, the government of India but, you are you are saying that but you are saying me sampradaya you are you are saying uh, that you know you got the opportunity to be on a moral high ground because of what is happening but you must be in sync with the bjp uh, with the bjp which is demanding a cbi inquiry into the charges of corruption at least on this you are together bjp and the congress we, in magalhães we are very happy we are very happy we cannot necessarily be Uh, married in politics because of our divergent views on all uh, areas of politics but if somebody in the coalition is themselves saying do it we are so dupan chakrabarti right dupan chakrabarti dupan chakrabarti uh, that means are you is it likely that the bjp and the congress will work together at least on common minimum program corruption coal mining was fair our state president has appealed to all political party including on congress to join the fight against corruption we are politician we do politics and therefore it is responsibility for us to see that there is a transparent and the probity of the governance must be there we cannot have a government because they are we are part of the coalition there should be a co- uh, corruption dr kaluki fin- final comments from you dr kaluki uh, what is the road ahead now what is the road ahead final comments you from see, you you see mr warsbeer i just try to correct everyone and everybody actually if you remember in the first debate that we have when this statement came from the bjp president when you asked him and he said that we will withdraw from the government i want to remind you you remember when you asked yes. him, he did say that we will withdraw very from well government. yes yes so that's why this question came asking him then why don't you it was not we who asked who said that you leave he was the one and we said why don't you withdraw when he said that we will withdraw from government my my uh, f- final uh, thing on this is final view on this is that well i would appeal to the bjp to set their house in order because whatever you try to convince that in a democracy that you know there is differences when the differences spill into the road it is no longer a, 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 when the when the when the opinion a difference of opinion spill into a road into the road it is not a difference of opinion it shows that there is disunity in the bjp dupan chakrabarty your final comments and your response was we here for the benefit of the people i have a request to the national people's party who is heading this coalition government Dodas Meghalaya Democratic Alliance Our honorable chief minister have not yet called us for any discussion He should call us he should sit across the table and sort it out for the better interest of the people If what you are saying Mr Dipan Chakrabarty if what you are saying is true then one would also expect the mda chief who is the chief minister to invite you and have a across the table discussion on what is going on uh, that is the big story uh, coming at this point in time breaking on notice tonight uh, bjp leader dupan chakrabarty saying the chief minister has not invited the bjp to discuss the issues that is the charge that he is making now final comments from you dr mautho as a leader of the mda alliance will you be well willing to tell mda chief mr conrad sangma to invite the bjp and sort out the differences and address their issues which they have raised i think that is not a problem inviting all the uh, coalition partners of the mda to discuss about uh, you know these uh, issues that have been raised by the bjp i don't think so that is a problem but what i need to put emphasis here is that 
there are pending issues that have been raised in the state from time to time. The political leaders, the NGOs, and so on and so forth. Now, we have the pending issue of ILP, we have the pending issue of boundary dispute, we have the pending issue of the inclusion of the Kasi and Garo language in the, uh, you know, in the age schedule and so on and so forth, issues of development in the state of Meghalaya. I mean, these are the things that I feel that the party, uh, BGP, if they so claim that they are a responsible party, I think they should walk the extra mile and try to help the government in trying to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, talk about these issues and try to resolve the long pending issues in the state of Meghalaya. Okay, Ms. Amprin Lingdo, if you're still there, your final comments, what should the MDA do? What is your advice? Uh, uh, because the opposition is also free to give its own advice or own point of view. Uh, I would feel firstly, uh, the BJP is a terror based party. Uh, no two MLAs or 10 MLAs or 100 MLAs can have their own point of view. Uh, I would suggest that the, gov the, the BGP puts their foot down. As far as uh, the comments made by uh, the Honorable uh, President of the NPP, it's not the voice of just one man, because right now I know one man plus his Vice President plus his General Secretary oh. on the same page. So we so, cannot afford to underestimate that. Uh, Mr. This is not a one man right. voice. Wait, I, I'm not done. I'm not done. Very quickly. And as far as the UDP is concerned, if they were really serious about making sure that all of the issues that Dr. Gemino has just mentioned are really vital for the state from here forward, make sure they deliver. Because we've had this conversation too many times was we on your show and it looks like one month, two months down the line, you're going to call me back to this panel where we are going to again talk about the same issue. Okay, Mr. Mr. Dupan Chakravarti, final words to you. You are not alone. You are not alone. The, yeah, if, if I can make out from what the Congress leader Amprin Lingdo is saying, the Congress is ready to be with you, jointly fight together. Sir, as I told you that we are with everyone to fight corruption. It is for the betterment of the people. The money which is people losing, we all have to fight. I will request if all the political parties to come together to fight corruption. It is a chronic disease of the society. We cannot differentiate between the Congress, the NPP, the BJP, the UDP. Corruption is a disease, a chronic disease in the society. And we have to fight against it. No, it no, is the corona of the society. Absolutely, no doubt. So we all have to fight no, against it. No doubt that corruption is a malaise and everybody has to fight together. But nevertheless, it's a very interesting scenario in Meghalaya where the BJP, which is a coalition partner in the MDA, that is the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance, uh, they are going hammer and tongs, as Dr. Jemaina Malto used the word, hammer and tongs against the MDA and the, both the NPP, the dominant player in the MDA coalition, as well as the another dominant player, the UDP, uh, advising the BJP to walk out gracefully if they're so unhappy. And the BJP is saying that they will wait for the appropriate time to do so. Nobody can force them out. It's a very interesting situation indeed. I thank all my panelists for participating in the program and the viewers for watching the show. Good night and goodbye.